Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This is le Lecture 7i, and in this and the next lecture, we're basically going to spend our time solving problems with meioses that have crossovers. And what we'll be doing is mainly predicting the gametes that these meioses will produce. So here's a drawing of a pair of homologous chromosomes before DNA replication. They're just like the chromosomes that we've seen before, except that this time I've shown the alleles of particular genes. These alleles, of course, could have been there on the chromosomes we were looking at before, but we didn't mark them. We didn't indicate that they were present. You'll notice we've got three genes, and one chromosome has the one allele of each gene. The other chromosome has the two allele of each gene. So this individual is heterozygous at all three loci on this chromosome. Now the chromatids, chromosomes have replicated, and you'll note that the sister chromatids have exactly the same alleles as they should. And the chromosomes can come together and maybe undergo a crossover. Here's a picture of them paired. Um, the two homologs aligned, um, ready to separate in meiosis one. And now the first question. I've indicated four points along these paired homologs, and I'm asking, at which point is a crossover most likely to occur? 